Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the dates of October 16th through October 21st, 2018. So Leo, let's see what is on the agenda for you guys this week in regards to love and romance. Okay. Right, so you guys have the 12th house escape. Um, this is the house of Pisces. It's the last stop on the zodiac wheel. So Leo, this week could be where something is finally completing or coming to an end or you're seeing it through an entirely different perspective or there's this great deep healing happening inside of you or happening within your current relationship or happening between you and somebody that you are disconnected from at this time. Um, just because this is the 12th house of Pisces, there can be an element of, you know, fantasy and deluding ourselves. but let's pull more cards to see, you know, what the reading reveals. Very nice, though. Just because we're coming to the end of the year, it's good to get things wrapped up, completed, balanced, whatever. So, Leo, I'm going to pull a card here, a Cups card, to see what your emotions are predominantly this week in regards to love and romantic matters. All right, so you guys are coming up as the Seven of Cups. And Leo, I have to say, Seven of Cups, there comes an, ele an element of fantasy to it and, you know, deluding ourselves. And I say that just because the, the 12th house of Pisces also carries that type of energy. So just be cautious of that this week, that you're being very honest with yourself. You're being very true. Now, you might be honest and true, but you may be in deep fantasy about somebody else, like dreaming of a life with them, you know, the house, the kids, the marriage, the adventures, whatever it is. Like some of you are very much in fantasy world. And I don't mean like you're kidding yourself. I mean, you're just really thinking about somebody and dreaming about them in that capacity. Now, others of you that none of that even relates, this could be where this week we have a decision to make and we're not sure what to do. Or if you're dating a couple of different people, no commitment anywhere, you know, you're just dating, talking to several people, you, this could mean you have a lot of choices and options coming at you this week, Leo. So you could be a hot commodity this week. Just keep that in mind. A lot of people wanting your time, wanting your attention, wanting to be in your presence. But also um, you could just feel like I need to decide on who I want to be with or there could be a need to make a decision somehow, some way. So, Leo, let's see what's going on with the other main person involved with you or who you're thinking about or missing or potentially somebody new coming in this week with that Seven of Cups there. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups here, Leo. This could mean a couple of different things. Um, somebody could be returning from your past, and because we have Twelfth House here, it could be where we're having the final closure, okay? Others of you, this could be where we're wiping the slate clean and maybe we're going to try this again, hence a little bit of confusion, all right? Um, others of you, this could be where there is a relationship that has left, has walked away, has ended, but you may still be kind of entertaining the idea that it's going to get back together or that you guys are going to reconcile something along those lines and you know this is just a general reading and I always say you never know if you're going to reconcile or not but if you guys have been apart for quite some time Leo it might be a good idea to stop thinking about that person so much and start pouring your thoughts and emotions into you know yourself and a new relationship for you for now because if you were meant to be with this person, you guys would be together. And if you guys are eventually meant to reconcile, then that means there's a lot of different lessons and work that you have to go through before you guys can reach that juncture, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind if you're really caught up on somebody of the past, okay, Leo? Um, 
others of you, this definitely could be somebody returning for sure. Um, if you are in a committed relationship, this could be where your partner has given you some sort of ultimatum and you really don't know, like, do I want to do that or do I not? Can I change this or can I not? So there's a lot going on here, Leo. Let's continue to pull cards and add more to it. Alright, over here we have passion for you, and over here we have this could be the one, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, Leo, any exes like showing back up this week, old flames, misconnections, whatever, they are definitely interested in you, Leo, there is no question, and some of you, this could be a, a way long ago connection resurfacing, um, whether they're reaching out to you, you are running into them, a mutual friend tells you something which prompts you to reach out to them, you know, there's so many different ways you can reconnect with another person, alright, but um, whoever is coming back into your world this week that's like, I want to be with you, I miss you, it's so good to um, run into you, like they really are feeling you, Leo. And I feel like you are really feeling them too, okay? If you are already um, dating somebody, um, and I mean with no commitment, like you're dating other people, whoever this person is that shows up, I feel like you're much more like drawn into them, like that's where you want to be. Definitely, for sure. Um, others of you... If this is somebody from your past that, like, you're just really hung up on, I see that so strongly, like, you have so much passion for them still, and somehow, some way, it's like, you believe in, in, that they think in their heart that you guys are meant to be as well, and, like, maybe one day you'll get back together, and that could very well be the case, but I don't know, with 12th house here, there's something that needs to happen in your life or their life before you guys like truly come back together like if they're not showing back up in your world this week or you're not showing back up in their world this week it's because there's truly some serious like life lessons and work that needs to take place all right but i do see you guys are very connected to each other still even if we don't speak or we are estranged at this time all right those of you in a committed relationship um if you've been given an ultimatum like, Leo, are we going to get married? <clears throat> Leo, are we going to move in together? Leo, um, are you ever going to say you love me? Leo, are we going to get committed? If it's something like that, they're saying it to you because, Leo, they really feel like you are, are it for them. You are their one. You are the one they want to be with, they want to grow with, they want to create a foundation with. Like, they see you in that light. 100%, but they may have given you an ultimatum if we don't progress forward that I'm out of here, okay, or if um, it's the same fight or something about somebody's behavior, it's like this needs to change or I'm out of here, and I don't feel like they're trying to manipulate you, I mean this is a general reading, I feel they really see you as their one and the person they want, but there's like some element that needs to change or you need to make a decision to get more um, committed or something or it's like they're um, out of here and you're just you're not quite sure you're like well what do I do is that really what I want so you know those of you in a, a relationship whether dating or committed it's almost like there's an ultimatum out on the table and they've put the ball in your court. Now, this is a general reading, so you can definitely swap it if it's more like you've had to give the ultimatum and, you know, you're waiting on them. And if you're waiting on them, it's really, they're just, they don't know. They're feeling confused. What do I do? Which way do I go? So let's pull some tarot to add to this, Leo. But I'm telling you, Leo, anybody that shows back up in your world, they mean it. They mean it. And if you're trying to show back up in somebody's world, you're meaning it 100% too. Okay, so we have the Will of Fortune in this position, which is this is where 
we don't know, we're feeling a bit blocked, it's not time to act, it's not time to move, it's not time to really make a decision, which is um, not the message anybody would want to hear who's just been given this ultimatum. But the thing is, Leo, I don't feel like this week you can make a proper decision. There's, it's like your emotions, your thoughts, you know, I don't know. There's something where if you make the decision, it's not your true heart where the decision's coming from. It's out of some fear-based emotion or feeling pressured or pushed back into a corner, all right? It's like it's not time to act. It's not time to make a decision. There's much that is unknown it's more of a time to contemplate and really kind of go deeper within ourself and explore you know have we been deluding ourselves are we in fantasy too much speaking of that just brought me right back around um some of you listen i know that this means nothing more this entire reading is only talking about your fantasies and deep, deep desires for somebody that you are not with, whether you're crushing on them, you're estranged from them, you are involved with somebody else, so you can't be with that person. I don't know. You're blocked from somebody that you are fantasizing about big, big, big time. Not everybody will relate to that, but some of you, that is the only message here is like we're still blocked this week. Sorry to say. Okay, so we have the six of uh, wands in this position, which there's some victory, but it's hard fought. It's almost maybe not worth it. Again, Leo, if somebody is trying to pressure you into a decision and you make it because you're afraid, like, I don't want to lose you, but I'm just not sure if I'm ready for this, like that type of thing, you're not going to be okay with it. Like, you can't make that. Even if you made the same decision next week once you're calm and balanced as you would make right now when you're afraid, it's, there's a difference. If you make it when you're afraid and feeling pressured, there's going to be some resentment inside of you. If you make it when you feel emotionally balanced and it's truly like you're not backed into a corner, then you feel like it's your choice and there's no resentment there, okay? Next out, we have the Three of Wands, which, yeah, I, man, Leo, ultimatum and deep, deep fantasy is like the themes going on here. We have the sun. There's, look, like I said, there is stuff that is just not out in the light. There's stuff that's hidden. There's more to be known. There's more to be seen, all right? Keep that in mind. That's why the universe is like, no, don't make your decision this week. Finally, we wrap this up with the Eight of Wands. Leo, I just want to point out something here. Um, wands, wands, wands. All fire energy in the sun card often represents you, right? <clears throat> so, very, this reading, I feel, is much more focused on you and your energy than so much the person, the other person, or persons involved with you at this time. But, um, Leo, listen, don't make the decision, at least not in the early part of the week, towards, you know, the end of the weekend, the first part of next week is a good time to really give an answer if you have no other option but to do that. Until then, don't, because you will regret it. It will not be what you truly mean. Make sure that you feel like your mind is right, your emotions are balanced, and you're making your decision out of what you truly want from your heart, not like what's best for you or, you know, the status quo or to satisfy somebody else's wants and needs. No, you need to make the decision based on your heart or you will regret it. Okay, you will. And um, those of you who are really like fantasizing about somebody, like wanting to connect with them. I don't know if it's like because they're away traveling or what, why we're not with them. I feel like by week's end, we are coming together or we're actually having a conversation. There's some communication taking place. All right, Leo. Also, um, if like, t if energy is kind of tense and um, we're not getting along and you feel in the dark and it's like, uh, by week's end, it all turns around, okay? Things really improve for you guys um, in committed relationships. We're seeing eye to eye. We're on the same page. Um, 
people could definitely be returning back into your life, Leo, this week, but it feels more like weeks end. And anybody who has given you the ultimatum, I just feel like they're doing it because they think you're the one and they want to know where they stand in your life and they want to know that this relationship is going somewhere or that it's going to build upon more than what you guys have already established with each other. Okay, Leo? So let's pull an outcome advice card for you guys. Reflection. We've got the hermit. Yep. Leo, listen. Please don't make a decision because somebody's pressuring you. Don't make a decision because of what you've been fantasizing about or hoping about. Really, it's like go within. What is your heart telling you this week? What does your heart want? What is the song of your soul? And um, don't make decisions. Like, oh my God, I just, I feel that. Like, don't make decisions. And many of you, somebody you're quite passionate about, um, we're not, we're disconnected for some reason. But by week's end, I feel like there's this return and it, it's very powerful. It's lovely. It's nice energy. And Leo, whatever you've been in the dark about or you has been evading you or eluding you, I feel like by week's end, you come into clarity, you know. So I would not like make decisions until Saturday, Sunday or starting next week sometime. And you'll know when it's right. You'll know when you feel balanced and sure of things, okay? But go within and um, also because we have the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune in this block position, like it's almost better for you to not communicate. I don't know. Um, be mysterious. Observe. Feel things out. And really, Leo, make your decisions based on what is in your heart, what is truly going to make you happy. Otherwise... It will feel like a loss. You will feel resentful of it later. I promise you that based on this reading, okay? So, Leo, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.